Hey, my name is Bill Stanbrook. I'm just making this video to demonstrate that I'm the author of the Jigsaw Puzzle, Jigsaw Factory, Jigsaw Puzzle software that I'm going to be selling on eBay. I'll be selling it by this uh, account, Excelamon, which is the name of one of my old World of Warcraft characters. So, this is the Jigsaw client that the uh, Jigsaw Factory software actually produces. So I'll just compile this and run it. This actually displays and allows you to solve the Jigsaw puzzles. So, this is on pretty much max settings. So you've got uh, dynamic movement, dynamic rotation force fields which you need to navigate your way through the opening various other things, timer and so forth you've got various settings, you can turn all this on and off and you can save and load puzzles, you can create profiles, settings profiles to save different settings and configurations uh, control the amount of variance, number of puzzle pieces and so forth and that's still too high set it to 24 this is 24 puzzle pieces this, you can snap them together, move them around very easily that's the puzzle plant now, this is the actual software I'll be selling and obviously I'll be selling the compiled version of these. Just compile them here to uh, show that I'm the author. This is the Jigsaw Factory Jigsaw Puzzle Generator software. So you can create a new puzzle project. Just two I think. Once you've created one, you can change the window title bar text there. Or otherwise, if you just leave it blank, it'll get set to the project name. You can add source images to your project. You've got three methods of adding them, paste, oops, clipboard, Add the source images using a file request or a drag and drop. So they've been added. And they'll show up here. So now you can select them. You can uh, move them around. Sort them however you want them. Very easily. And you can create image description files for them. It doesn't have one at the moment so we'll create one. Yeah, you can just edit that. Oops. Edit it directly if you want, but in this case I'm just copying and pasting. So that has a source file. Once it has a source file, a tick will show up in there. If it's the active open one, it'll show an asterisk. So we can see that previewed. And we can also create more info files. Create image descriptions will show when you've got an active image it'll uh, open this file in the client. Create more info file. Like that. We can rename it. Like that. Heading. I've got 
let's center Turks on this, so it'll center like that. Okay. That and text there. Edit it directly, I'll copy and paste it. From the text editor. That shows it there. You can create more paragraphs. If the paragraph's empty, it won't uh, actually use any code from it. It won't uh, add any surrounding tags. So we can also add images to that. Through the descript add them into the descriptions folder. Now we can preview that. The image shows up there. That's pretty simple. This will show up in the more info uh, tab page in the puzzle plant. Now we've got all this, we can create the uh, actual jigsaw puzzle. Like that. And it should. Yep. That's the puzzle we just created. You can solve. Configure. You've got the image info here. More info there. Okay, and I'll do a more detailed explanation in a couple of separate videos. Thanks for listening.